welcome to Devotions for Friday on this February 10th. Today we are uh, in Psalm 119, which happens to be the longest chapter in the Bible, with 127 verses, but we're going to concentrate on verses 1 through 8 today. Blessed are those who were whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their hearts. They do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. They have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that the, my ways be steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. The title today is Progress, Not Perfection. I'm concentrating on verses one and two. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who seek the Lord with their whole heart. Once I get past the first verse, this is my favorite psalm. It's acoustic. The first letters of the stanzas spell out the Hebrew alphabet. This extraordinarily beautiful poem proclaims the goodness of God's grace and mercy revealed through the Torah, the law. But that first verse trips me up. Blameless? What? Sh that sure isn't me or any one else I have ever met. But it turns out that blameless is only one of several possible ways to interpret the Hebrew. Other potential meanings are holistic, earnest, sincere. Suddenly, the psalm makes more sense to me. Previously, I thought the first and second verses described two different things, two different types of people those who were blameless, and those who sought God wholeheartedly. But if these verses accurately describe the same thing, happy are those who are sincere, who the Lord with their whole heart, who seek the Lord with their whole heart. Well, that's definitely different. Sincerity, wholeheartedness, these are things we can do with God's help, and they make us exceedingly glad. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of Torah. Bless us with understanding as we study your word. Amen. And our prayer concern today is for linguists and translators. And I'll leave you with a final thought. Today, with a quote from Rita Zahar, if you have any of these qualities, love, kindness, compassion, sincerity, and truth in your heart, you will always find your way home. May your day and your weekend to come be filled with joy and blessings. Mm -hmm.